Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass. Now recently Instagram has just got a new update and it's got some great new features in terms of changing your photos and editing your photos and there's a lot more in it than what there used to be. So what we're going to be doing today is just taking a quick look at some of those new features and just going over why it could actually replace any photo editing app that you've got on your phone. Let's take a look. Now the actual application itself hasn't really changed. You've still got the same tabs on the bottom for home, explore, you've then got news and also your own profile. And obviously you've got the take photo button just in the middle. And this is where things change quite drastically. So if I just take a photo of you guys real quick just now. And there we go. So we've pretty much taken the photo now and you can see here that straight away the interface does look slightly different. So you've still got your filters just along the bottom of the screen here. You then also got some feature in here to actually change the strength of the filter itself, which is nice. So you don't have to have the full effect in terms of the filter. Some of the filters themselves can be quite overwhelming sometimes, so it's good that you can change the actual intensity. Now you can either tap on the filter and then go to the next tab to change the intensity, or you can also double tap on the filter, so you tap it more than once, and then it gives you the option again to go into the editing options for that specific filter. You'll also see now that there's a new spanner button to the far right hand side and this is where most of the new features come into play. So you've got things like straighten and brightness which have always been there but you've now got all these other options for shadows, vignette, tilt shift, sharpen, warmth, colour etc. So this is definitely really nice and the way that it's done is also really simple. So if I want to go in and change the brightness of this photo, and just click on brightness and you get a slider here which enables you to change the brightness settings really quickly. Tick that and that's then saved. You can then move on to the next tab. One thing that I really like is once you've actually edited one of them, you can see here that a little grey line appears under the one that you've edited. So you can see that I've changed the brightness, haven't changed the contrast, but then if I go into change the warmth, then again it gives a grey line under there. So you can actually be able to see exactly what you've changed on a specific photo, which is definitely really nice. And that's pretty much the main change with the newest version of Instagram. Obviously the upload features are exactly the same, you can add it to map, tag people, share it on different social networks which is definitely nice and also direct message it to some of your friends as well. So like I say, this is the newest version of Instagram, it's available now in both the App Store and also the Play Store and if you've got it installed on your phone already you will be getting updates quite shortly. From what I can tell there's some issues with some of the updates, mine actually took a couple of days to come through from when it actually launched on Android and if you go to the previews in the Play Store it's got the newest version of Instagram but then when you download it you may have an older version and have to wait for the update. So that's something to keep in mind but you will eventually get it. So this is the latest version of Instagram, I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass and I will catch you guys in the next video.